And now we can turn it over to Wes and let him give us about 10 to 15 minutes to speak. I get 15 minutes? No, oh, how much y'all want to I was told to keep it short. I was just going to say I'm Wes Howard Bush for me and so no, I Time for questions. Just get yeah, to we, 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 we. This is a sign sheet. If any of you want to help my campaign after my speech, I'm going to leave it up here. Um, it's good to be here tonight. That actually, it's good to, to be somewhere where you feel like you're back at home. Uh, for those few of you in the room that, that don't know who I am, I'm going to step away from that. I'm, I'm not used to doing that sort of thing. My name is Wes Howard. I've uh, been involved in politics since I was a teenager. Always been Republican conservative politics. Um, I was a Republican chairman of my high school, uh, teenage Republicans. I was the chairman and the vice chairman of the College of Republicans where I went to college, which was in Greenwood, Atlanta State University. I grew up in a small middle town by the name of Ware Shoals, graduated from Ware Shoals High School. We love it, we call it Ware Shoals University of Law and Medicine. Um, met a Lexington girl and fell in love and moved down here. We have four awesome boys who are in age from 18 to 5, all go to public school. My wife's a stay at home mom, and she's a full time nurse. I uh, just recently was the second vice chairman of our Lexington County GOP. I uh, resigned to do this. Um, what this is, is I'm running for county council in Lexington County District 3, which is a seat that's currently held by Smokey Davis. Um, he, in my own opinion, is part of the reason that I am running. You've got an entire group of people, nine seats, all held by folks that affiliate with the Republican Party. Very few of them choose to follow the party platform, which is indeed a conservative platform if any of you bother to read it. What they say on the campaign trail and what they do in office, quite often and most often, as folks like David and Carl and Ron will tell you, do not indeed line up. Their talk is conservative. Their voting is no different than Barack Obama, plain and simple. When you got folks that are raising taxes in the worst economy since the Great Depression, and then turning around and spending $108,000 on trees to replace other trees that are not dead, by the way, at the county courthouse and the administration building, that's not conservative in my opinion. You've got folks that pay a county attorney as a retainer, not as an employee with benefits, but as a retainer, $240,000 right off the top of the county budget. Any of you folks in here who've read the budget know that I'm telling the truth. We've got issues where they're taking $10 million for the fire engines and tankers out of the firehouses, when in fact they should have never been purchased to begin with. Who do the folks on council expect to foot that bill? Us. Everybody in this room that selects the county citizen. Now, they have a further plan to hire 50 to 75 more firefighters in five years. At the end of that time, what do you think those folks up there don't want to do? They're going to want brand new shiny fire trucks. And I bet you they're going to want us to pay full retail for them. After they've already bought these, they're probably going to take them out and sell them at a loss and expect us once again to do it. That's not conservative, in, in my opinion, folks. Not where I'm from. Okay? You got, you got folks on the council that don't mind raising our taxes, but then they don't mind turning right around and sending money to lobbyists. Buying employees' golf umbrellas, liquor cameras, leather bound business portfolios, and all caps, city cups, wouldn't it great pin sets that don't work, by the way, mine didn't work. I mean, they're nice gifts, but they don't make me a better paramedic. Okay? I do what I do because I love it. I love serving my community. That may sound corny in today's world, but that's just who I am. You know, I, I plead guilty to that. I'm running for my family and my friends, many of you in this room know me personally and I consider you to be a friend. Um, I know, as one of our Lexington County Republican Party chairmen, that I've dealt with them in private. I've tried to do the mature thing. They're not going to change. David was right. Ask David, he'll tell you he's talked to many of them in private. They'll talk nice to you. They'll catch you. It comes time to vote, they don't change. That's why I'm running, because I know talking to them is not going to change things. We've got to be citizens of action. Plain and simple. Come to these meetings are great. What did David say? We've got to pack the rooms for Shane Massey. That's action. We've got to show up at the county council meetings. That's action. you got to call them. you got to aggravate them. you got to put the pressure on them. 
until you get somebody like me that you can pick the phone up and call me. And by the way, that's my personal cell phone on there. That's not a cell phone that I got for the campaign. The only two reasons I won't answer that cell phone is I'm asleep or I'm on call. Other than that, leave a message and I'll get back to you. Just talk loud because I'm a little hard here and I'm right here. But um, the, the things recently were the grass cutting and the tree planting and telling us how to mulch our trees on our own private property that we get up and go to work for every day. And they don't have to call anybody in this room to wake us up, but they're treating us like they do. That's an absolute waste of our time and our tax dollars. We're not paying them that little bitty salary they get to do that sort of thing. There's a lot of ordinances that I'm interested in taking off the books, not just stopping the sort of garbage they're trying to push down our throats now. Okay? And all the while raising our taxes and doing things like taking the fire trucks out of the firehouses, which indeed make us less safe after they expect us to foot the bill and charging us more to do the very same thing. I mean, it, it's just in every department, it's not just a fire department, okay? I mean, it, it's absolutely asinine the things that they do. And they're not used to, as David said, having an activated citizenry. Every person in this room, I guarantee you, loves America, loves South Carolina. That's why we're here tonight, because we're involved. I'm running for two simple reasons. For my family and yours, and to give our small businesses a voice, because the small businesses do not have a voice. I was out today, I told Ron, went to 31 businesses in four and a half hours. Not a one of them turned me down to put up a sign or give me a donation. And these folks are telling me over and over, man, I'm struggling to feed my family, much less keep the doors of my business open. One guy said these knuckleheads, not my word, his word, on council are raising my taxes and they're gonna turn around and spend 110 grand on trees. Plain and simple, black and white folks. That's why we have to be citizens of action. Whether you choose to support me or not, be active, be involved, okay? And that's the end of my speech. That's what I wanted to end on. Because at the end of the day, the folks in this room that don't know that I'm a political activist. <clears throat> That's where my heart lies. And I'm doing this so that each of us in this room will have a voice. I'm not running to be your councilman, I'm running to be your representative. And this is our community, not mine. I believe, Carl, you said 276,000 citizens. Mm -hmm. Nine people out of 276,000. But they govern like it's their county. It's our county, folks. So make sure that you're involved. And I guess let the firing squad be key. You want to be first, brother? Oh, why not?